Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to actually carry on Talon here in the mid lane with our best runes possible. Conquer, Triumph, Tenacity with Last Stand, Free Boots, Biscuit Delivery with double AD and magic resist up against a Nazir. For our runes, you might be wondering why we didn't go electrocute or maybe dark harvest. Right now, running lethality talons kind of poop, or at least running lethality as his main source of damage output since everyone's gotten tankier in the most recent patch, more HP, armor, and magic resist. It's harder to get value out of it. So instead, we're gonna be rushing down Gore Drinker into Mana Moon to have infinite mana. Then we can go for Searl does. Where is Searl to that? Yeah, then we can go Searl into Black Cleaver. So yep. Gore Drinker, Mana Moon, Sorold's Black Cleaver, those style of items. It's mainly just about getting plenty of CS. He has double potion. We can definitely poke him down, but I'm not going to toss out W and risk missing these. So if I threw W out way earlier and then he decided to shove me off with a bunch of autos, then me using an early W wouldn't really be worth it. He's spamming his soldiers there. So he goes in for that minion, I get him with a double rake. The only time we're going to get a double rake is if they miss position or if they're trying to last hit something. His way is pushing hard into me, I gotta try to thin it out a little bit. Once we get level 2 we can take harder trades on this guy. Don't want to miss CS. Except he goes in for the last hit. Nice. I'm gonna jump forward, take an auto attack. Oof, decent trade from him. We'll go ahead and pop a biscuit. Once you're below half health is usually when you wanna look to use it. He goes in for this, he's gonna eat a rake. Auto attack Q reset, didn't wanna miss that minion. We do have refill advantage, so we don't even have to get a kill in lane and we'll get up gold on this guy. He's not really, it's not CSing as well as us. So we'll go ahead and dump the wave. He's playing pretty uh, aggressive, I'd say so far. You don't always want to have to use your Q on minions, but it's generally better to get the minion than to just let it go, especially since we plan on backing here. Like taking this damage doesn't really hurt us. He's unable to freeze it because we have it underneath his turret. Now we can back. Get our reef get our refill refilled. We can grab another long sword. And we'll go ahead and grab a control word as well. So decent back for us. Pretty happy with that. His wave's gonna rebound into us, obviously, obviously, since we crashed it. I might miss out on one to two melee. It's not the end of the world, because when he goes to back, he's gonna miss out on some minions as well. I haven't even missed two melees yet. I only missed out on one single minion. We're gonna go ahead, go for W Max and Q Max. Bonk. Oh, come on. Give it to me. Bonk. Oh. He's going to just dash away. It's a fourth. Ooh. We get out our W for the slow. I'll attack Q reset ignite. Flash auto. Down he goes. These guys are greeting really hard for this. Lee Sin just trolled super hard. I'll attack Q reset. Down she goes. Your Q does more damage if you use it as an auto attack than a jump. Because if, obviously if they're outside of the close range, it turns into a jump. No, I'll go ahead and shove this. Oh, I can't even anymore. He came back to the lane. <laughs> ETP'd. So Talon's damage output. It's actually so high with Conqueror. I'm using your Q's and auto reset if possible. They greeted so hard for Lee Sin, he ended up <laughs> way out playing them there. When Lee Sin was forcing a play, they turned it into a counter forced play. Looks like he's going to be aggressive again, so I'm going to do my best not to miss minions. This guy doesn't really seem like he cares if he misses a minion. <laughs> We're up 12 CS on him. That's two full waves. I'm going to go ahead and reset get my refills back. Once again, before we reset, we crash the wave. We are not missing out on a single minion right now. Nothing died. It, it's important that you don't randomly reset because you'll fall really far behind. Now, I might miss out on a few melees here, but that's fine. It's just like before I recalled, I dumped my wave. 
Whenever you come back to lane, you'll always miss out on a minion or two. Got our refill back up and running. We haven't had a chance to really rotate yet. Graves is looking kind of low, but we don't have our free boots in, so. He's annoying. I'm gonna I have blue buff. I'm gonna Q into him, hit him with the, both sides of the rake. Your rake does more damage on the way back than the way there. So if you can manage to land both sides of it, it's quite a bit more effective. So there again, I Q forward, get him with the rake. I'm only willing to blow so much mana because I have blue buff right now. So I can kind of consistently take these type of interactions. Okay, he's using a lot of mana. He has his R up at the moment. I'm gonna jump past his little minions there. Not too bad. We are building up a CS lead still. Missed that one, unfortunately. I'll go ahead and pop my biscuit. I am gonna start roaming, so I'm gonna try to shove him out of lane. He can outrange us, so we don't want to like overstay. Auto attack Q reset. Got the wave crash. Now he has to farm, and we can look for the graves. It might seem weird to go free boots on town. The problem is, is if you don't and you actually rush down your boots, you can end up putting yourself really far behind in your damage output. So it's usually why you go for the free boots. I'm gonna have to speed up into this guy. Got him. I knew he was gonna reset and bush just from his positioning, so went ahead and used R for the speed up, jump the wall, use R for speed up, board the bush, down he goes. This is what a lot of matchups turn into on Talon. He has really, really scary burst with his uh, landing both sides of Rake, having Q as an auto reset, to where a lot of champions, they're just not willing to fight you, to where what ends up happening is you'll shove them down and roam. Shove down, roam, shove, reset. That type of play style. If you're able to get solo kills in lane, it means your opponent isn't respecting you or they just don't know how to play against Talon. But generally on Talon, you don't really get solo kills in lane. Usually get them by uh, roaming. Ah, oh, we just missed a minion. Ah, oh, we missed the cannon. He has such a minion, he can spam his soldiers so much now that we can't really trade with him. All we can do is outshove him. I'll attack Q reset W. I'll attack Iron Spike Whip. I need to dash over something. Oh my god, we almost died. Azir collapsed. Otherwise, we have Diana beat there, I think. Even though she had R and we didn't. Graves doesn't have full item. I can come top. Lily is about to die to him. I wonder if this is warded. He just wasted his Q. I'll attack W, Q, R. I can't fight it. Lilia died way too fast. Her R was still on cooldown as well, so... Apparently his ear just flashed. Oh man, that's rough. We have Gorge Inker now. Our trades are going to get quite a bit better. We have tier so we can stay in lane more. Or at the very least, spam our abilities and not run out of them. Gorge Inker makes your trades really strong. So if you Q into them, hit them with an auto attack W. You can also Gorge Inker and get back all the HP that you lose from them trading with you generally. Especially with a damage over time style champion like Azir, who's more of a poker rather than a burster. Gonna go ahead and shove this down. You don't wanna be perma staying in lane on this champ. It's not effective. Diana is a full item. However, I have boots advantage on her. I wonder if she went there. Zero's acting like he knows where I am. Ooh, hey, Diana. We'll cue the gap close. Uh, we're not going to be able to finish that.
Got off a decent gore drinker. Auto attack him. Oh, it's a close fight. Nice, nice, nice. Got off some decent AoE damage with our W. Had an okay positioning. It was felt really awkward to run through the turret after we wall jumped. I had to get behind them though. <clears throat> right now we still have a CS advantage on these here, which is pretty sweet. And we've been able to get pretty good value through roaming as well. Don't really want to stay for turret. I'd rather go collect this XP. Doesn't seem like we're going to be able to kill Graves and Rums. He's getting giga fed. He has a lot of items and Lily's not able to put up much of a struggle. So we're going to have to rotate more to our bot side. That's what it's looking like. Rotate bot or maybe kill their jungler. Talon does pretty good at that. I'll attack Q reset. Get her with the gore drinker. She did red smite me. So she's at an advantage there a little bit. I'll attack Q reset ignite. Oh, he's Gigas done. I'll attack. Q reset W. Yeah, whenever you get red smited, just think of it as an exhaust. Like if you're fighting a jungler, they drop the smite, red smite. You generally need to back up unless you're at a huge item advantage. I was two levels up on her is the only reason I was scrapping that hard. Plus, Gore Drinker is a better item for all in fights to the death than uh, Rocket Belt. Nice. She's going to be going to her red buff here. Azir is still not a full item. I'm a little scared to fight Diana on red buff because if she has red smite again, this could go really bad. I'll attack Q reset. Gore drink. I'll attack R. Oh, I think I had her. Okay, no, I didn't have her. <laughs> Dude, that really is the power of Red Smite. I, I did have less HP going into it for sure. Like, she only did 1300 damage, but still. Uh, I guess she did have Sork Shoes. She has more actual gold spent than me in that fight too. A little forced on my part. Their team is Triple Mage, Double AD. You can make the argument for Merc Treads this game. I'd kind of rather just have Mana Moon right now than get my tier 2 boots. Because with these free boots, I'm already really fast. They give you plus 10 movement speed. So, pretty happy with how fast I'm moving. Ash, you need to keep your slows on him, buddy. This is chase is going to be such a long time. I'll attack Q reset Gore Drinker. Trying to block his auto attack so he can't one shot Ash. As long as you get in the way of Graves' autos, he can't really do what he's supposed to do. Thought about taking blue. It's like, yeah, I don't need it. I have Mana Moon anyways. At least he gets more XP from it than I do because he has general item. Go ahead and get a ward down over there. We need to crash this wave before we can leave. And now we can leave. I'm gonna hold on to my wall jump. We're in enemy territory. I don't want to put a wall on cooldown. We need to be able to escape if need be. I don't think we really need this Herald. I think Dragon Soul is more our win con, like with a scaling MF. MFR in team fights is kind of outrageous. Bonk. I have to go mid and catch this. Like it, he could have stayed. Like if he ended up staying and I just left let this be, that would be really bad. Like obviously since he left in hindsight, I didn't need to go back. I'm gonna go ahead drop it. Looks like they're starting to group on top side. Zero's turning back around apparently. And I did not get turret. Harold didn't do as much as I thought it would do there. That sucks. Oh well. 
It's a shame I gave shutdown to Diana. It's making the game harder than it needs to be. I don't see anything on the map to roam to, so I'm just gonna chill mid. Bonk. I don't want to trade into a zero YES center there. Ashar misses, Lee Sin should be able to handle that. And the enemies quit. Fun game, dude. That means we're going to go in for a part two. I'll see you guys there. Get some more talent action in your life. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two. We got the same setup. We have biscuits and time warp tonic this time with double AD magic resist again because it's a TF. We need some magic resist. Any matchup that can't shove you out of lane is a fine matchup for talent. The only matchup I've come across that's like really, really annoying is uh, like Zillion and, uh, and Heimerdinger. It's really hard to shove them out of lane. Especially uh, Heimerdinger. Zillion, once you get some mana items, you can't shove them anymore. But Zillion Heim is, feels so impossible. But just think think about the champion. And then you can decide whether or not you want to pick Talon or Dodge. And TF, yeah, he definitely can't shove us out of lane. He, there's no way. I'm going to walk up, see what's up. I'm catch my wave early. I want to get this pushing. Bonk. And then it forces them... To last hit why we can hit them because our last hit's already been done oh my gosh almost missed that one see how he's not able to really hit me because he has to focus on his own last hits i've already done that though it's like he still has to do his chores but i already finished mine so i can beat him up while he does his chores that's how that works you can run electrocute on town that's fine if they have a bruiser or a tank on their team conquer is definitely better Electrocute falls off. Conquer and team fights and extended fights is way better than Electrocute. Rip. Should have just leveled up my Q and auto attack reset that. I'm going to trade this heavy. He got off an Electrocute. Wow, he loves to auto me. He's dead though. Well played by him. His spacing really wasn't that bad there. He did a really good job putting autos on me as I was walking away. He'd get one to two extra autos off. His mistake was walking back in and not respecting like my Q cooldown is the main thing. All right, we got to leave like right now. We're really low. Evelyn is in a terrible spot right now. I would unironically put her in F tier. I would rather, bear in mind, as one of the best Evelyn players there is, right? I would unironically rather play Udyr or Skardner in Challenger than have to play Evelyn. She is that unplayable for me right now. Like she f actually feels that bad. Even when you're up in gold, you could be like two, three kills up. You go in on someone who has less items than you, less levels, and your damage output feels so bad. So bad right now. I have a feeling she's going to get a buff. If she doesn't, she's going to turn into the Azir of the jungle. Or it's like no one touches that champ for years. <laughs> all right, I might have to mute all chats. Getting too spicy. He has too many minions for us to engage on him there. If I took that Q on him, it would have been a bad trade. Especially since I didn't land both sides of the rake. I certainly can't freeze it from here, but... Uh... I can kind of like slow it down with this one range creep. See how the wave's a lot more favorable for me where he has to step up and I don't. There's a random blue card. I could trade so heavy with him. Just need him to step up. I'm trying to shove him off those minions, force him to farm max range with abilities. He's going to miss out on this cannon, likely. Nope. Pop refill. We want to keep our HP high. The higher your HP is, the less like, likely you are to get ganked. The lower you get, it entices the jungler to come to, to come finish you. He's just not willing to really trade. I might have to start dashing Dominion then hitting him with a rake. Because he is just like completely... Oh, I guess we just roam now. This guy is... Not interested anymore after we pinched him. 
we do have ignite advantage so it doesn't really make sense for him to try to like raw solo us it's probably not the best plan yeah now we roam you want to fight evelyn oh baby just gonna be sweet she doesn't have any real items yet auto attack w q auto w that's so much damage she gets nothing out of it forces tf to move they get diddly squat now i'm gonna break his ward If I was six, I think I would have had her with extra speed up. Jumping on him there is kind of awkward because he has cannon minion. I'm going to get six here and jump on his face. Or at least try to. Might need to let this crash. Uh, I don't know if this is a good roam or not. You could make the argument I should have stayed in lane and shoved. I'm gonna go over the pit. I'll attack Q reset R. Whip him with that W. Ooh, he just won't die. That was a really awkward encounter. I need to get away from TF there. I don't know. I didn't know like what I didn't realize Lulu didn't have ignite. They might have been able to kill me though if he yellow carded me. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe, but probably not. Better safe than sorry, though. I, I didn't press tab. I should have. I was really worried about an Ignite coming out. They don't really have an Ignite. Their biggest win con this game is obviously the Cog Lulu, so we're going to want to rotate to that a lot. I don't think we'll need to go top. Not only is Riven winning lane, but uh, Gwen is not their win con at all. We have enough CC through the Zac to be able to handle her in a team fight. 100%. Bonk. Auto attack key reset. Auto. Oh my god, we missed the cannon. Feels bad. Oh, he took minion dematerializer. You don't see that too often these days. I just need to build space in between me and TF. And then he can't get here in time. And then she dies. Just like that. I wish Zach would have followed that a little heavier. I feel like we still win this. His elect oh wait, he still has Electrocute up actually. I want one more auto, thank you TF. I can actually kill him here. His Electrocute's on cooldown. Maybe nah, he's popping Corruptions. I got a flash at least. We'll take that. We'll reset off that. I'll come a little bit behind the wall so he can't see me. And if he steps up, I can jump off the walls a little dash. Rip him apart. Go for that sweet, sweet gore drinker. Nice. Got control ward. These guys are in trouble. I'm getting really beefy. They don't have the, the comp to really handle me. Evelyn can't really deal with Talon. Gwen can't deal with Talon. TF can't deal with me. The only one who can deal with me is the Lulu Polymorph, realistically. Lulu kind of counters every champ in the game. The only thing that can counter Lulu is something that Giga outranges her, kind of like a Ziggurath. Other than that, she has an answer in her kit for everything. Ooh, lights just flickered there, man. That's not good. It's time for the bot rotation. I need to get some deep words down too. Make sure they can't follow. Oh, you guys are control word here. Wanted a QW on his face. Got the slow. Got the auto. Got the gore drinker. It's a really good trade for us. Oh, barely lifts. All right. Kind of wasted ignite there. I mean, if he has to back, it is what it is. We'll take it. Should get a plate or so. Oh, never mind.
We have really nothing to roam to since the other lanes are winning, so we're gotta kind of just... We'll stay in lane a little bit. Peel off. Hopefully we can find some fruit. Got his controller. He doesn't seem like he has another one. He might R bot for Renata. Yeah, hey buddy. Off that key reset W. Wasn't able to do enough. Oh well. I'm also out of mana. We'll go ahead and reset. We'll grab boots and a tier and we'll never run out of mana again. Be the perfect happy ending for Talon. We'll make a Disney movie about it. <laughs> It'll be like that scene where Anakin does what he did to those children. Michael Jackson style baby. Shimona. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Is he really gonna yellow card me like that? Q in, go for the W. Don't get. Oh, yeah, so Evelyn is here. Am I? Ooh, this is kind of bad, actually. Yeah, that was kind of bad. I didn't have a wall to jump over. Got my gore drinker. This guy doesn't have flash. I'm trying to avoid the Evelyn charm. Oh, that Renata R was so useless. I might die. Yep, I'm dead. Oh man, that's rough. That's really rough. I overplayed it a bit. I could have lived at like five different points. Chose to limit test and paid the price. It is what it is. We need Merc Treads, their whole team, their full magic damage. Gwen magic damage, so is Eve, TF, Kogma, Lulu. Kogma does have some physical damage on his base auto attack damage, but his abilities and his primary damage dealing ability are magic damage, so. We need Merc Treads. We'll have to pick up a Maw as well. And I'm gonna do my best not to die to Eve ganks, because that's kind of dumb to die to those. Deep ganks are so terrible. TF's actually up in CS on me, my goodness. Almost just missed a cannon there. Eve missing, 80 carry miss. Ooh, there she is. All right, she's bot. TF's gonna roam. I'm gonna go ahead and stay here. I'd rather get some guaranteed plates rather than Room for something that may or may not get me anything. Looks like I might have gotten something, but it's just how those situations go. Very coin flippy. Get down a deep control word. I don't want him to get by me here. I want him to have to walk all the way around, or he has to reset, but he can't just like go the safe way. Oh wait, he went the safe way. Wait a minute. He's low as heck. Down goes his Everfrost. Down he goes. An auto attacker, your Q applies your R. The extra R damage on your next auto. This is a dumb fight. There's no reason to fight this. My R is on cooldown. There's just three of them here. Lulu just flashed, my goodness. That's triple gore drinker right there. That, that Renata R was actually really good. Honestly, the one she used mid was good as well. It just didn't translate to anything because uh, Evelyn's melee, so she couldn't even hurt TF. Sick R. Bonk. 
Yeah, we'll be able to wrap this game up. I think this will be a pre-30 for sure. For those of you who want to play uh, TF, not TF, for those of you who want to play um, <laughs> Evelyn, but uh, realize that she's poop, so you don't pick her. Like a good alternative would be Celia or Diana right now. Those are some solid high tier mage style junglers. Or you could just play AP Shaco jungle. AP Shaco jungle isn't that bad right now. It's okay. I think AD Shaco jungle is better, but I, I would ra personally rather play AP Shaco jungle than uh, Evelyn. It's not necessarily that he has more damage, it's that his ganks pre 6 are useful and that he can force them to uh, kind of tank his clone. So he's kind of tanky in a fight if you count his R. In terms of Talon, if you want to play Talon but he's banned or he's just not a good pick, you should try out Zed or like Xin Zhao mid. We got his turret. Now what we want to do is leave a ward there. Keep track of if he's going to stay and try to shove. Is Kog'Maw going to react in time? Or did he mute his team? Because they've been typing in all the chat like all game. Looks like he muted his team. He's going to get what's coming to him. Going to hold on to our Q as a gap closer. Auto attack board drinker. Q auto attack reset. I decided to use it because he was doing too much damage. Like I needed... I needed that damage output. That way I could also apply my passive properly. Three abilities into auto attack. Botlane should be able to shove there. And I'll shove mid. Does Zach live? That's GG's if Zach lives. Yep, that's GG's right there. There's no coming back from that. Tied with CS with TF, man. That's rough. Shoving down all the turrets right now. Eve's dead. Even if TFR is over here, we can E over a wall. Should be fine. Just gotta stand near a wall so we have that option. And now we gotta scram. Yep. Evelyn's such a good champion. That she definitely doesn't need a buff or anything. She's very strong. <clears throat> nice. We're gonna queue on him if he steps up. I think we'll be able to pop him. Could just go top actually. I haven't been roaming enough this game. I've been staying mid too much with this TF. Like the only reason why it's kind of okay is because if I don't keep him mid, then he can roam pretty well. So this feels like one of those matchups where it might actually be okay for us to overstay mid. Since he's such a heavy roam style mid laner. Oh, hey Gwen. Bonk. Down she goes. I'll leave her the cannon. We can pick up Mana Moon, buy a chunk of our cleaver. You gotta just go Hex Drinker next. Hex Drinker is the move against their comp. I feel like uh, after the recent changes, with everyone getting more magic resist and armor, they specifically need to buff Sork Shoes. It's the only boots that gives penetration. And uh, I don't think you could argue that it was like an OP boot or even a, that good of a boot option prior to these recent changes. So I think it needs a buff because this flat penetration does so little now. So, so little. Nice TF stun and no. Uh, oh, I'm not going to do that. Riven, what is she doing, dude? She's going all in. All in underneath turret. That is what we call a throw right there. I want to try to avoid those. Might be able to get there in time. Oh, wow, I got that kill. Nice. Q 
auto attack reset secures us the double. We get the double slow. Lulu spazzes out, forgets that I'm Talon. I'm gonna go for the cog. Double Gore Drinker, auto attack, double W, beautiful. All right, let's shove this down. Gotta wrap this up. It's getting really late. Plus Talon's true late game isn't that good. Talon power spike ends, or I should say he becomes a lot less relevant. Once everyone has four or more full items, you start to have more and more issues. Especially with Electrocute Talon even more so. Char. <laughs> oh man, that's rough. Uh, I'm on a ward. She knew I was there. Lol. The only CC that counters Talon jump on his E is uh, displacements. Knock him out of it. These stuns and charms, it doesn't cancel it, so I'm still traveling where I want to go. It's going to be hard for them to catch up. Tech Drinker time. Now I'll go for... I think I'll skip Cleaver. They don't have any tanks. Cleaver's not going to do that much for us. I'm going to go for Surlds, mainly for the slow. You're going to say, hey, they don't have any tanks. Why are you getting percent base armor shred? Fair point. Like I said, I'm doing it for the slow, though. Slow is really useful. Stay on top of them. Evelyn out of position, down she goes. Zack isn't pathing into Baron, so I'm gonna run bot side instead. Auto attack Q reset. Truth about Evelyn, if she doesn't get a full stack mesh, she has absolutely zero viability. She's completely team reliant. The 100% team reliant if she doesn't max out mesh. Let's wait. Oh, I thought he went in that bush for there for a second. Eh, all right down you go buddy he soaked our passive bleed and he soaked our ignite he's gonna get burned down evelyn's alive so they can tango with me right now if they really want to I imagine that's what's about to happen i have red buff though so i'm healing like crazy out of combat 51 health back per second very balanced Hey, Evelyn. Oh, I lost vision. I was going to queue. <laughs> Evelyn's such a... Dude, I can't get over to how bad Evelyn is as a champion. I'm not even smack-talking this player, but wow. That champ is just so freaking underwhelming. I played Evelyn recently. Like I said, I played Evelyn a couple times recently, and I was just so disappointed. She feels so much worse this patch than even last. And last patch, she wasn't that great. Bonk. Bonk. Uh, it's disappointing. Weren't able to finish it. All right. It is what it is. We ripped down this turret and we got to leave now. I don't want to die to Eve. I've been smack talking that champion all game. is a good spot to reset at uh, you know what Riven might be able to end I'm gonna go ahead and grab Surlds as a insurance policy no need to throw my shutdown in the end Cogball Lulu weren't able to make it work there was too much pressure put on them we got off a couple of good roams bot side and uh, top lane solo one made the game a lot easier Ultimately, even if our top lane lost, though, I don't think it would have mattered. Like I said, we had the tools to deal with a Gwen. The only thing that could have shut down our comp would be a Fed Cog and Lulu. That's about it. Nice knockup. Hey, Lulu. Auto attack or drinker. Down she goes. Gwen's thinking about throwing hands here. She's only one full item. So far behind. And that is GG's, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at the charts. Looking at damage dealt to enemy champions, we did have the most in the game. I'm happy with that. Looking at damage taken, we were just middle of the pack. 
Varun's got really good value. Conqueror always looks like it does only a little bit because it doesn't tell you the actual damage it gave you extra. It only tells you the healing, which isn't the best part of the rune. But uh, yeah, really, really happy with this setup. Once again, you can run Electrocute if they don't have any tanks. Like this game, we could have gotten away with Electrocute. But uh, like if Gwen got fed, we would have wanted Conqueror. So it is what it is. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.